Hi, my name is Vyacheslav Tyson and I want to show you the new temporary workflow for Micromesh. So there are some issues um, appear during the new version in Blender 3.4.1. So um, some customers are writing me and asking why it's not working. And uh, I find uh, there are some issues created um, behind my code. So uh, in Blender uh, is something changed in the background and I need to update it. So for now, I think uh, let's go, let's start a new workflow. It is not that intuitive like the first, but it is more um, uh, um, non-destructive. So you can work better and cleaner but a bit slower. I show you how. So in the new version, you will get the the asset browser files, Micromesh. There are all the presets we created and the add on by itself. So just remove the old restart blender and install this one. Then you need to unzip this asset browser files, there is the micro library. This folder you can add to your um, asset library uh, directory, wherever it is, just add this folder there. And then in Blender, we go to preferences, file paths, and here we can easily add our file paths to the, the unzipped directory. Here you see uh, libraries, micro lab, uh, library and it is like micro mesh. So if we get this, we just open new window, select the asset browser and not the current file, the micro mesh. And there you see there are all known micro meshes like in the thumbnail of the UI panel. So let's go, let's start and test it out. The workflow. So for this, we just start with the outer object and add here micro mesh. So you see, it's a bit of changing here. The thumbnail is not here. It is now all over the asset browser. So we can set the render from in uh, collections, objects, path I don't need or none, but this make no sense. So in the first case, we want object and then we can select via the picker and the object, but we want to test something interesting here. So something like this, this, we just drag this into the scene and clean the location. This is important. That's it. Select the mesh and here we can simply search for MM and this is the micro mesh. Then we can do whatever we want to do. Like we know, I can do subdivide and get more details. That's it for the first. This is the new workflow. So if you have a collection with objects like uh, this here, then I want to add this too and something like ropes and the base uh, micro mesh. So this all I add to new collection like micro collection. Then we have the collection here. So the location is not needed anymore. We render from collection and select the micro collection. Now we see a random uh, mixing here. This is created, create all the uh, included meshes in the collection here. So if you need something special, just go here. We can rotate, we can switch. And of course you can do it from here too. But this is only temporary. Uh, if not the end um, workflow, I need to check 
many options and test it out. So this will be the new clean workflow, but a bit slower. You need to aware, be aware of this. So the older one gets issues here, but with this we can easily create very nice and fast results. Yes, if we just test out some of the meshes itself. Nice, I like this. So you have now more cleaner workflow and easier way to add objects into the micro mesh section. So I hope you like this and understand why I need to do it like this for the first. Perhaps we get a better version in 1.6. Bye.